What is up guys, this is Abdi Vapor Bandit checking in with you once again for another video and today I'm bringing you something special. This is the iStick Pico. On the iStick Pico there's a mellow free automizer. When I first started switching colors from the, this, I had a real problem like getting it off till I found this trick that I'm gonna show you today guys. So what you need for this is something that's thin and long. So I'm picking my nail scissor for this and hell out of this. You see there's paper all around me. This is because this is probably the fifth time I'm trying to make this video. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is to screw this off. The cap right there. And after that, you're gonna wanna pop your glass off. Um, the glass isn't that fragile, so just take it up and pop it off like that. Now this is the tricky part right here. You're gonna wanna unscrew this first. This is pretty easy just to unscrew it, but I got I got e-liquid all over my fingers, guys. Okay. And after you have unscrewed that, you're gonna wanna scissor or anything thin and long. So you can put that there, as you see right there. Well, you screw this off. This makes it so much easier to get this off because you get a grip. And once you screw that off, here is your coil, guys. So the coil is really easy to get off, just twist it off. And if you didn't know what a coil was, you're probably really new to this. I'm also new to vaping, but this is your coil, and this is where your coil goes in. So this is a really easy trick, guys, but it made my coil switching so much easier because I was trying so hard. So I'm just gonna show you how to put it back together so you're gonna want to put your coil right in there just make sure you screw it on tight but not too tight so you can get it out the next time and then you're gonna want to go ahead and take your scissors out of that and you're gonna want to go ahead and screw that right in there once again guys not too hard because you won't get it out next time but hard enough so you can get the airflow without unscrewing the, the main thing and after that, you just simply press your glass on. This can be hard to get the oil rings right, but just press your glass on till it feels good and your oil rings are there. So now we got almost all of the atomizer back together. Shit, you're gonna wanna go ahead and screw that on. And from here, I'm pretty sure you know what to do, but I'm just gonna show you for the sake of it. So just, Put this on and you are ready to vape again guys thanks for watching as always if you want to know anything if you have any questions just put them in the comments and I'll answer them for you please like if you enjoyed the video and peace guys